What are you wearing, big boy? <laughs> Hello and welcome to the What Are You Wearing, Big Boy podcast. Patience, etc. This is the first Josh Flag music podcast, the podcast about Josh Flag <laughs> music. Apparently, sitting across from me is Josh Flag. Say hello, Josh. Hello. Hello. Good to I'm, see you. <laughs> good to see you too, sir. Uh, my name's Jamie Tanner. I am the guitarist of the band, often known as the Obligations. That's Josh Flag's band. Also with us are uh, our drummer, Mr. Scott Campbell. Say hello, Scott. Hello, Scott. Perfect. That's beautiful. Oh the comedy is flowing freely already. And uh, the lovely Rebecca Haviland, keyboard player, backup singer extraordinaire. Extraordinaire. Or ordinaire, if you, you know, want to tone it down a little, but <laughs> keep the extra in there. <laughs> okay. And we're missing Marty. We we're are missing, missing Marty. the lovely Marty Fowler, bass player, bon vivant, man about town. You're an excellent host, Jamie. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm cutting that right out. So, what is this show you're listening to, if you are actually listening to it? We're going to, we, you know, we got this band, Josh Flag, and the Obligations sometimes. And we're going to give you a song every week in, uh, in the podcast. And we're going to talk about it first, which is what we're doing now. And we're going to try and move this along, because this is getting intolerable. Today, we are talking about the song called 256, which is, I believe, the fifth song on our debut full-length record entitled Devastate Me. Josh, what can you tell us about 256? Oh, God. I already don't like podcasts. <laughs> this is already great. Um, what can I say about 256? You know, I, I, don't, I wish I knew that the, the song that I heard, I heard a song in Brooklyn in the neighborhood one time, and it just seemed to go on intolerably long. And I was like, I want to write an intolerably long song. <laughs> Length was the motivation behind How long the song. is 256? Oh, it's only five minutes. It's not really yeah, it's really long. not that long. It doesn't feel five minutes. No, I just, uh, you know, I was walking down the street and I had this, like, I, I don't know, I, 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 I thought of this melody and I sang it into my phone and then I immediately demoed it and it turned out exactly the way I thought it was going to turn out from the very beginning, except for your part, Jamie. Josh had the quite the vision. For this tune. Now, I don't know if I should even ask this. We don't know how far behind the curtain we want to go on this sort of thing. Uh, <laughs> Very to borrow far. a Very metaphor. far. What, what does 256 mean? The first time you said that, I'm like, is this about web safe <coughs> color palettes from the 1990s? Why? That is What's a graphic designer joke for... I, actually, I don't even remember if that's the right number. The number of purportedly web, sa web safe colors. I don't even internet. know what that means. Never no. mind. Um, no, 256... Old monitors, you couldn't rely... Never mind. Well... <laughs> It, this is uh, all garbage. I'm editing all of this. It, it's going to be five seconds long, this podcast. It, you know what? It was, it, there was a number. I think there was a number of things that went into the titling that. I, 256? Is I that the number you're thinking thought, of? Yes. I thought that there was. The song went on. Uh, you know, it has, it, it has its A part. And the A part is sort of like, uh, you know, what is it? A round robin? What did I call it before? I have no idea. Oh, God. I don't know. It's a round robin, right? Round the robin. row, row, row your boat syndrome. Yeah, row, yeah. row, row your boat. So it repeats on itself, you know, and then and so then and then I get, it got the name two fifty six, but as it turns out, that all worked out very well because the song wound up being about um, it was actually inspired by an older song from our, our original band that the three of us were in called Automatic. Automatic. Jamie, we'll get to that in future you episodes. Did, you did, we'll go it. back in time, but for now, let's stay in the uh, in but, the nearer past. Right, but it was inspired. Pre slash you know, present. We sort of were writing songs about. Uh, tragedies and disasters and, and uh, you know that that sort of a loose summary of some of the themes of the record devastate me if that sort of thing appeals to you if you hear tragedy and disaster 
and uh, you Good know, times. disease, and that sounds appealing to you. <laughs> Man, are we the band for you? Get ready. Oh yeah, you are gonna love this. No, and so this, so the song wound up being about, uh, you know, sort of a, a self-replicating uh, problem within a body, like a, you know, a cancer or a, or a virus or something like that. And the number itself is just, you know, if you keep multiplying two by two, you'll get to two fifty-six. I just like the number. You know, and that's pretty much how it got there. All right. Voila. But in this band, we have a variety of uh, songwriting methods. There's no one way anything gets written. This particular song, Josh had such a vision for it that he made a... There it is. There it is. Josh made a a very rough demo of the song with almost all of the parts there. This piss you off, Scott Campbell. Yeah, I, I, like we- I was in a weird space at the time, and what kind well, of weird, weird space, space were you in? Tell us more. Tell us, elaborate. I, on no, no, no. This, I'm not elaborating about my personal shit. We're talking but, about the initial so, so demo of the song 256 right space. now. Yes. Context. Oh no. Well, I just remember. Well, this song in particular was very, was very, uh, it was acrimonious between Josh and I because he came in with a very specific drum part. Josh came in all excited. He had this song worked out. He had a vision for how it was going to go. Right. And I which had included a, the drums, which is not the usual case, but this time. But this time it was. And normally I'm, I'm pretty open to all that stuff, but for some reason it really irked me this time around. So, and it got... It got Mr. It Scott got, it Campbell can thing. occasionally be Did an not, irksome gentleman, I would say. That's not true. From time to time. You You're at an or, ornery. <laughs> See? There we go. Um... <laughs> But so yeah, so my heart continue, is warm continue. right continue. now. Oh no! Well, I mean, I eventually, I created a part that was that combined, you know, what I do with what he had on the demo. I thought that was pretty true to it, but it took me a while to come around to get to it. But you like was, the part that I, I came up with, right? I like the part that I adjusted to make it my own. Absolutely, <laughs> and I would hope that that would always be the case. See, that's the weird thing about writing songs with in a band. If you really respect your band members, is that you. That's a fucking troublesome thing to be like, hey, Scott, here's this fucking drum part I want you to play. Definitely is. Play this. And I, didn't, and I certainly didn't do that when I came, but I wanted that part, you know? But I wasn't like, well, you, you must sort of did that when you came. All right. But I really did like that drum part and my amazing <laughs> drum programming skills. <laughs> can, I, can I hear a little bit more of it now that I know all this backstory? And here we go. actually very interesting to write because I brought it to you Jamie and I said hey I have this song look at this it just has an A part and a B part what else do we need to do and this may be getting a little nerdy if there are any casual absolutely. listeners out there who aren't musicians it's okay though they can fast forward it's, some people like to hear the behind the scenes even if they don't know yeah, what the I hell we're talking about but yeah it had you know sort of a, a part one and a part two and the part two for whatever reason wasn't oh, working been... wasn't working for us and I came up with some sort of counterpoint to it this sort of Arpeggiated thing, a little more well, nerdy that was a, music talk. For I you. even know it better than that. See, the thing is, is that me and you have been writing songs for so long that I feel, uh, you know, we come at things in a different place. And it was just funny that we sat in that room and you wound up playing the part for the B part, your counterpoint for the B, but I was fucking up and playing the A part, and it sounded spectacular. And the so what, whole thing was solved. So you just stumbled on that. that. So what, the, to kind of sum it up, there was the one part we didn't like that much, so I wrote a different thing to try and push that in another direction, and then Josh wound up playing something else to push what I was doing in a different direction, and then we took away the original part. So it was these two things completely divorced from the other part. You get, a, you get another part. Yeah, this, is, this is math at work right here. It's a complex... <laughs> yeah. And then it results in the song Hooray! that you hear. <laughs> All right, I think that's a good enough place to stop this one. This will wind up being about 30 seconds long when I cut out all the <laughs> random crap we say here. Uh, yeah, so if you like uh, the song you're about to hear in its entirety, please come to our website, 
joshflagmusic.com. You can hear the whole record there. You can buy it on the iTunes, Amazon, wherever you buy music if you, if you like it. But please keep coming back every week. You'll get another song, et cetera, et cetera. Send us email, info at joshflagmusic.com. Blah, blah, blah. Here's can, a song. Goodbye. Can, can I just add one more thing? Yeah, fine. I just said goodbye, but go ahead. When you said greetings and salutations in the beginning, I thought we were going to do a Star Wars convention lecture. We can if you want. I was kind of turning me on for a second. Next week, to be continued, Ewoks, droids, Jedis, next week. Mm. Goodbye. Mm.